Hey, what's up YouTube? Here's another video by Ratchet and Wrenches and today I'm going to show you uh, how to uh, remove and replace your timing belt on a 2005 Subaru, Subaru Outback with a 2.5 liter uh, EJ25 engine. As you can see, <laughs> this engine is out of the car. This is going to be part of uh, you know, dissecting an EJ25 uh, series that I'm going to be making. I don't know which video is going to come out first either, but uh, you know. It's going to be uh, the timing belt video is kind of part of the dissecting of the engine since you got to take it apart. So I figured I'd make two separate videos just for people that wanted to do the timing and then another one for people that wanted to see uh, how to remove the cylinder heads and split the engine and you know remove the crankshaft and whatnot. Okay, so uh, yeah, so you know if you're just doing the timing, well, obviously you're going to have to remove all the accessories, the, the, the alternator, the water pump. I didn't remove, uh, I'm sorry, not the water pump, the alternator, the power steering pump and whatnot. I didn't remove all that stuff. I had someone pull this engine, so I don't know, uh, you know, I'm going to assume it's not that hard. And, uh, but yeah, so you basically, you shouldn't have much problem getting into this point where, you know, you're just facing the, the crank, the, the harmonic balancer, the timing belt covers and whatnot. So I'm just going to go from here on how, how to go about removing your, uh, replacing your timing belt on water pump and whatnot. Okay, so first step is going to be uh, removing this uh, left side timing belt cover and we're going to align our, uh, the timing marks on our camshaft. There's our cover. Okay, so the marks we need to align are, uh, well, this notch that someone's got white out on. This needs to align up with uh, this notch that's in the rear, the back timing belt cover. So, and we do that by turning our uh, harmonic balancer or crankshaft clockwise until this comes and line, lines up exactly with this one. Okay, next it's time to remove our harmonic balancer, the crankshaft bolt and the harmonic balancer. I got a air gun so I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to use to remove this but if you don't and your car is an automatic there is a special tool that holds this in place that you can uh, get from Subaru or it would probably be a lot easier and uh, cheaper <laughs> if, you, if you do this. Basically you get two of these, just put them in each one, get another one in here, then get your pry bar, put it in there like that. Maybe rest it against the ground if you're doing this in the car, which you probably will be, or you know, have someone hold it. Then you get your uh, 22 millimeter, I believe, socket in there, and you just twist that off. Okay, and if you have a manual transmission, uh, you can remove it this way. Just uh, go to the back of the engine block. There's going to be, well, I haven't done this, I just basically researched this online. There's going to be an access point. I don't know if it's that bolt hole, uh, or there's a different one, but. Basically, you get access through that to your flywheel that's going to be back here, and then you just stick a strong screwdriver or uh, maybe a something uh, like a, from your uh, chisel and punch set, something super strong. You just stick it in there that that's, uh, sticks that grabs the teeth of the flywheel, and then uh, you can uh, twist your uh, get get a 22 millimeter on here and then twist that off, and uh, you can do it that way. If you, that's only if you have a manual transmission. Okay, next we should be able to wiggle this out. If you have a hard time wiggling this out, just, uh, you know, you can hit it on the sides with a rubber mallet and keep wiggling it. Just resist the urge to stick anything underneath it and pry it open, pry it out, okay? Okay, next we need to remove all the 10 millimeter bolts that are holding this other, this, uh, I guess the right side timing belt cover in place. I think there's about, uh, there's 11 bolts around the circumference of this. So we're gonna remove this next. After remove all the bolts, we just pull on this timing belt cover and it'll come off. There's a rubber seal around this, so don't, don't lose that. It's actually going to be hard to lose, just don't forget to, to press it all back in place before you go to reinstall this. Okay. okay, so with that timing belt cover off, we have a closer look at all our timing components. And they all look in <laughs> near new condition. I mean, they look pretty good. This tensioner looks new. Uh, this hydraulic tensioner 
all the rollers look in really good shape, the water pump looks good, so it looks like uh, not too long ago there was a timing belt job done on this. The timing belt itself looks in pretty good, and uh, if you're wondering how you can inspect the timing belt, well, besides taking it off, and uh, which you should, you should take it off and, uh, you know, inspect it closely, you know, you bend it, and then you inspect all the all inside of the, all the ridges. Another way is to just look at it directly, and then, uh, Look at the top of the ridges. They have to be. They should be round. You know, if they're started to deform and uh, they're not as round, as perfectly round as they they should be, that means it's getting uh, it's getting worn and it's time to replace it. Okay, but uh, so yeah, since I'm gonna be reusing pretty much all the timing components in this, I'm going to well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. This hydraulic tensioner, there's a piston inside. I don't know if you can... That guy right there, that basically pushes against the, the block and it pushes this down against the timing bolt and, and it applies a tension to this. So what we need to do, what I'm gonna do is actually get uh, get my ratchet on here and then uh, turn this bolt, turn this whole this assembly uh, clockwise that pushes the piston in and then just get a nail or a, like a drill bit and uh, slide it in, in this hole through the, the piston and then there's another hole like this at the back and then that will keep the piston in place. And then I'm going to un un uh, undo this bolt and take the tensioner out and remove the timing belt. If you're removing your, if you, uh, if you're removing, uh, if you're replacing the timing belt you can always just cut the timing belt. But uh, I guess I, I would recommend you do the same since uh, and I, if you're uh, reusing this you do what I'm doing now, which is to push that piston back in and uh, put a nail or a drill bit through that hole. This has to be strong though, because there's a lot of, uh, uh, there's gonna, that, that piston is going to apply a lot of tension to whatever you put through there, okay? But if you're, re if you're uh, replacing this as well, you know, it doesn't matter what, how you take it out. Okay, I got my nail ready. Just going to put it through this hole and the, the hole in the piston. And once this this goes up enough, that just pushes in and locks it in place. And you want to do this as slowly as possible. You know, there's not a whole lot you need to to make up for. You know, you just need to turn this maybe up a few millimeters, but you want to do that as slowly as possible. You know, definitely don't crank on this hard at all. Okay, otherwise you're gonna you you, uh, you risk damaging the the hydraulic tension. This is all if you're gonna reuse this. See, I'm applying tension right now, but uh, it's taking my time. There we go. Should be in place now. Just let go. All right. I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see this, but uh, there it is. How it's how this is how it should look. As you can see, this is already bending the nail a little bit. So just uh, again, make sure you put something there that's strong. It's gonna keep it in place. Okay. Next, I'm gonna remove that bolt and remove the tensioner, then the timing bolt. But something I forgot to show you guys is all the timing marks on the the other stuff, on the crank. There's the timing, there's a notch in the crank that needs to line up with this, uh, this notch on the block and which is right below the crankshaft position sensor and on the right side camshaft again <clears throat> there's this notch that someone got white out on that needs to line up with that which someone else, someone has got white, on, white out on again so if you don't have that mark back there if you're taking the part, uh, your, your, the timing bolt, make sure you put that mark on there and this, you should have this notch though, but for uh, easy reference, you can put white out on here too. Okay, next I take off this bolt and remove this uh, tensioner and the timing bolt. There we go. There's a washer and uh, this thing, it's a minute timing this tensioner, so don't lose this stuff. Just want to go ahead and put this aside. 
Next, we remove our tammy belt, but if you're like me and you're gonna reuse a tammy belt, just make sure you mark the direction which is rotating, which is clockwise. Should you put it on back the same way. There we go.